Hey everyone, if you like this video, please subscribe, and if you want to help support my channel, please check out my Patreon page. I'll have the link below in the description, and this video is supported by Jim and Sheila Hubach. Thank you so much for your generosity. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. As you may be completely new to the 3x3, my goal is to explain each step clearly and as thorough as possible so that you'll be able to solve your cube by the end of this video. Also, be sure to check out the video description for the timestamps on specific steps and some other important information. While looking at your cube, whether it's completely solved or already mixed up, we have to understand basic notation and what the role of each piece is. Notation is simply the action of rotating a particular side of the cube for which a letter represents. What I mean by that is this, there are six sides to the cube, also called a face, and throughout this video I'll mainly be referring to these notations, R, L, U, D, F, and B. The capital R means to turn the right side or the right face of the cube in a clockwise rotation, and if you've seen an apostrophe after one of the letters, then that means to turn that side counterclockwise. The capital L means to turn the left side in a clockwise rotation, and then counterclockwise again if you see an apostrophe after the letter. Here is the upside in a clockwise rotation, and then in a counterclockwise rotation. Here is the downside in a clockwise rotation, and then again in a counterclockwise. Here is the front side in a clockwise rotation, and again in the counterclockwise rotation. And then lastly, we have the back side in a clockwise rotation, and then again in the counterclockwise rotation. As you rotate each side of the cube, whether it's in a clockwise or a counterclockwise rotation, you'll notice that these centerpieces do not move. That means that this will always be the blue side. Opposite of blue is green. This will always be the green side. Here we have red, always going to be the red side. And then opposite of red is and always will be orange. And then lastly, we have white. This is the white side. Opposite of white is and always will be yellow. We've already learned that these are the center pieces. Next, I'll show you the edge pieces. There are four edge pieces per side and they are located directly next to the centerpiece, forming a cross. And then finally here are the four corner pieces. And again, no matter which way you rotate the cube, the centerpiece will always be a centerpiece, an edge piece will always be an edge piece, it'll just be on a different side of the cube, and then the corner piece will always be a corner piece. The first step is to solve the white cross. When you build a house, you need a solid foundation so that the house doesn't crumble. The white cross is essentially the foundation for solving the cube. I'm going to demonstrate the beginner method for solving the white cross, and the first thing we're going to do is create a pattern that looks like a daisy flower. We start off by having the yellow side facing up, and as you look around the cube, we're going to want to find an edge piece that has white on it. And once you find a white edge piece, we need to rotate it up into the top layer so that it sits next to the yellow centerpiece, kind of like this white edge piece right there. It's sitting right next to this yellow centerpiece. We just have to find three more and put them up here. All right, so let's look around the cube. And here's one right here. So a white edge piece, let's put it up here. So we can't just do that because it kind of knocks the other one out of place. So just rotate this top layer and then rotate this left side up. So now we have two out of four. Let's just find two more pieces. So another edge piece right here. Let's pretend it was in the bottom layer somewhere else. Um, and as we look, here it is right here. So we have to put it below where it's supposed to go. So we can just rotate this front side towards us. And that piece is right here and it needs to go right here. So we'll just rotate it two times. All right. So now we have uh, three white edge pieces next to the yellow center, and we just have one more to find, and it's in the bottom layer as well. So if we were to rotate this top layer to this right side, that's where the piece is. It just has to go right up here. Just rotate it two times so that it's in the top layer right next to the yellow center piece. 
Now let's say you have these three edge pieces done next to the yellow center piece, and you just have one edge piece left and it's in the bottom middle. We just can't rotate it two times uh, because the white needs to be facing up, not towards us. So let's just put it back down there. And to put this piece here facing upwards, let's just go ahead and rotate uh, this front layer like that. And then just move this top layer out of the way so that this piece will be um, empty. And then just knock it out and then put your white edge piece where it needs to go. So now that we have the four white edge pieces next to the yellow center piece. After the daisy pattern is formed, let's look at a white edge piece and see what the adjacent color is. So let's just start with this white and blue edge piece. We're gonna rotate the top layer to the blue side so that the white and blue edge piece matches up with the blue center piece. So right here, there's a red center piece. We need to go to the blue side so it matches up with the blue. All right, so go ahead and rotate this top layer right here to the blue side. So now you see we have the two blues matching up and the white is on top. Let's just go ahead and rotate this front face two times so that the white and blue edge piece is facing down. All right, let's find the next edge piece. We have white and orange. Let's go ahead and rotate this orange color to the orange center piece. All right, it's matching up. And now we can rotate it two times so that it's facing down. Next, we have white and red. Let's rotate it to the red side. Once it matches up, go ahead and rotate it two times. And now we have the white and green. It looks like it's already matching up to the green centerpiece. So now we can just go ahead and rotate it two times so that it's facing down. Let's flip the cube over so that the white is facing up. And now we can go ahead and verify if our white cross is completed. The four white edge pieces should form a white cross with a center piece, and these edge pieces should be matched up with the same color on all sides, green and green, and red and red. When you get a little bit more experience with solving the 3x3, I recommend checking out my intro to F12 video because that is where you can solve the first two layers at the same time rather than layer by layer, like what I'm going to be showing you in this beginner tutorial starting with the white corners. With the white cross facing up, we're going to be looking for a white corner piece and replace it with one of these corner pieces so that it'll be in their correct spot. There's more than one way that the white corner piece can be facing, so here I'm going to demonstrate a few different scenarios that you may have. After you find a white corner piece, we need to see what the adjacent color is to the white, so it's orange and green. So let's go ahead and just move this to the orange side so it matches up to the orange center piece. We know that this piece needs to go up here because here's green and then here's green and then white. Uh, so the white will be facing upwards. So when the white is facing to the right, let's go ahead and just turn the cube so it's facing us, the white is facing us. And then we wanna rotate this piece out of the way from where it needs to go. Rotate this left side down because we want to get rid of this piece and then rotate this corner piece back in and then just rotate the left side back up. So now we have fixed this corner piece where it needs to go. All right, so now let's go ahead and find another white corner piece. We have this white piece right here. The adjacent color is orange and blue. And let's go ahead and go to the orange side so the orange is matching up. All right, now we have blue on the bottom. We know that blue is right here, so that this piece needs to go right here so that the white is facing up. So when the white is facing us, take this piece and go opposite from where the corner is, bring this right side down, replace it, and then go back up. Here in this situation, you're gonna have the white corner piece in the correct spot but it's just oriented wrong. So here we have the white piece facing us, and when you have this, go ahead and just rotate the cube on its Y axis counterclockwise, so it'll just be like that, and then go right counterclockwise, so that the corner piece is right here. You wanna get it out of the way, so you wanna go just down counterclockwise, and then take this right side back up. 
And now, even though another white piece came in, uh, we're not focusing on this piece because for one, we know it's in the wrong spot. And then for two, we want this piece to go back up here. So the adjacent color is green. So let's just rotate it to the green side, just like this. And again, uh, like what we did before, just go ahead and rotate this out of the way, away from the corner that we're going to. Rotate this left side down. We're gonna kick this white corner piece out of the way and then get our correct corner piece in the spot and then rotate it back up. Here we have another scenario where the white piece is on the bottom and we have the adjacent colors orange and green. So let's go ahead and rotate this corner piece to the orange and green side. So it's right here. So green and orange and orange and green with the white on the bottom. And when the white is on the bottom in the left hand corner in the front, what we're gonna do is just rotate this cube just like this so that the piece is in the back left hand corner. And then when you rotate this left side counterclockwise, the white piece will be facing us. And then what we're gonna do is just rotate this bottom layer where the piece goes out of the way so we could keep it safe. And then we could rotate our left side back up again so that we uh, fix our white cross. And now that this piece is out of the way and all by itself, let's go ahead and just match it up to the adjacent color from the white, which is orange. So go to the orange side. So we know that this piece needs to go up here in this corner and also because green is on the bottom and green is on this side. So just go ahead and rotate it out of the way, away from the corner that it needs to go in. Rotate this left side towards us. Kick this piece out, rotate this piece back in, and then the left side back up again. Here's another scenario similar to the last one that we just showed, uh, where the white corner piece is facing down and the uh, adjacent colors are orange and blue. So let's just rotate it to the blue and orange corner. All right, so blue and orange. And we have blue and orange in the white piece. So we know that this white piece needs to go up here in this corner. So when we have the white facing down in the bottom right, let's just go ahead and put this piece in the back, so it's right here, and then rotate this right side up towards us so that the face, uh, so that this white piece will be facing us. We could rotate it out of the way because we want to keep it safe, and then rotate this right side back up so that we could fix our white cross. And now we could just go ahead and put this piece where it belongs. So the adjacent color is orange. Let's go to the orange side. All right, so now let's go ahead and put this piece where it belongs. And that is by taking this, going out of the way. We wanna go away from the corner that we're gonna be putting it in. Take this right side down, and then replace in that piece, and then rotating the right side back up. When you have the white corner piece facing us in the top layer, it's in the correct spot, it's just oriented wrong. Uh, what we wanna do is just take this front layer, rotate it to the right or clockwise. We want it in the bottom layer, rotate it out of the way, keep this piece safe, and then rotate this front back up so that we could fix our cross. And then we need to get this piece back up here. So the adjacent color is blue. Let's go to the blue side like this. Let's go away from the corner that it needs to go in. Rotate this corner down because we wanna get rid of this corner and put this corner in its place just like that. And then rotate this right side back up. So here when you have all of the pieces in the correct spot and you just have one facing down, what you wanna do is just have it in the back right hand corner. Go to the right like this so that it faces us get it out of the way because we want to save this piece rotate this right side back up and then just go to its side so we have green go to the green side right here go to the left out of the way rotate it down we want to replace this piece with this piece and then go up once you have all of the white pieces in the top layer facing upwards and you realize that something doesn't look right. So just two of these pieces need to be swapped. And what we need to do now is just have the piece that needs to be swapped in the front right hand corner just like this. And then take this right side and go counterclockwise or towards us. Get this piece out of the way. 
we want to take it out, rotate the right side back up so we could fix the cross. And then just like normal, we see the adjacent color, which is green, take it to the green side and it'll automatically, you know, just take the other piece out that shouldn't be there. So this piece needs to go up here, take this corner piece, rotate it out of the way, away from the corner it needs to go in, rotate it down, replace it, go back up. Now we have that corner fixed. Next we have the white with the adjacent red. Let's go to the red side. All right, now we could just go away from the corner that it needs to go in. Rotate this left side down, get rid of this piece, put this right corner piece in there, and then rotate it back up. And there you go. You just replace those two corner pieces. While solving this middle layer here, we're going to keep the white side facing down and the yellow side will be facing up. And what we're going to be doing is looking to fill these edge spots with its correct pieces. So here in this corner, we have a yellow and red piece. We know that this piece doesn't go here because it's not red and green. So we're going to be looking for a red and green piece to go here. And it's actually right here. So what we're going to be doing this step is just showing you how to take these edge pieces from the top layer or from the sides that where they're not supposed to be and just put them in their correct spot. We're gonna start replacing these edge pieces here that aren't supposed to be here by looking in the top layer at these four edge pieces to see which piece doesn't have yellow in it. So here's a yellow and blue, and here is a orange and blue. So we have this piece, and so blue and orange, let's go ahead and take it to the orange side. So here, so the oranges match up. So if this color was like a green color, you would match it up to the green side. But since it's orange, just move it to the orange side. And so blue is the other color. Green is on this side. Blue is on this side. So that we know that this piece needs to go here. So when you have to go from top to the right side, you're going to do this move. Up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, front, right counterclockwise, front counterclockwise, and then right clockwise. If you're searching for an edge piece here in this top layer and you find none without yellow, I'm gonna show you a video demonstration on how to fix that here shortly. But let's just go ahead and continue with these pieces that don't have yellow in it. Here, this piece is already matched up with the orange and orange. Again, if it was on like a different side, these two colors don't match up. So we're gonna take this orange piece and move it to the orange side. And the other color is green. So green is on the left. And so we know that this piece needs to go here. So now it matches up like that. So when the piece needs to be moved from the top side to the left, you're gonna do this move. Up counterclockwise, left counterclockwise, up, left, front counterclockwise, left, front, and then left counterclockwise. And there you go, that replaced that piece with the correct one. All right, now let's go ahead and look for another piece in this top layer that doesn't have yellow in it. And this piece that's facing us right now, we have red and blue. Let's go ahead and move it to the red side. All right, so red, blue, blue is on top, blue is on the left here, so we know that this edge piece needs to go to the left. Again, when you have the edge piece in the top layer that needs to go to the left, it's gonna be that same move that we just did, so it's gonna be up counterclockwise, left counterclockwise, up, left, front counterclockwise, left, front, and then left counterclockwise. And there you go, that replaced the piece with the correct one. As we look around the cube, we see that three of the edge pieces are lined up in the correct spot. We just have one last one to do. So we're gonna look in the top layer again for a piece that doesn't have yellow in it. 
So here's yellow and blue. Here's yellow and green. Orange and yellow. And here is our green and red. So we're going to go ahead and move this to the green side so that this edge piece matches up with the green center. Again, we have to go from the top side to the left side. And then that move again for that is up counterclockwise, left counterclockwise, up, left, front counterclockwise, left, front, and left counterclockwise. As I was mentioning before, if you're looking in this top layer for an edge piece that doesn't have any yellow in it, but you can't find any, that just means that there's gonna be an edge piece that's in the wrong spot. So here, this one's in the right spot. This one's in the right spot. And then here, this one is turned around. So that needs to be replaced. And then this one needs to be replaced. So what we're gonna do is just replace this edge piece with a yellow edge piece and just take its place. So we're gonna take this out and so again, we're going to put this piece right here. So we're going from top to right. And the top to right move is up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, front, right counterclockwise, front counterclockwise, and then right. That put this edge piece in there. And then let's go ahead and look in the top layer for the edge piece that we took out. And here it is. So it's green and orange. Go ahead and match it up to the green side. And here we have to go from top to right again. And that's going to actually take out this piece that shouldn't be there. So the top to right move one more time is up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, front, right counterclockwise, front counterclockwise, and then right. Now we just have one more edge piece to put in its place. So here is yellow and blue, yellow and orange. All right, here it is, so green and red. Let's match it up with the green side. And we're gonna be going from top to left, just like that. So the top to left move is up counterclockwise, left counterclockwise, up, left, front counterclockwise, left, front, and then left counterclockwise. With the first two layers now completed and the yellow is still facing up with the white on the bottom, the first thing to do is look to see what pattern you have from the yellow pieces that are on the top layer. I'm going to demonstrate 8 of the 57 most frequent scenarios to help you give a better and easier understanding on how to solve this step. The first scenario is the yellow hook. The hook is going to consist of two yellow edge pieces, both connected to the yellow center piece. It doesn't matter if you have these other yellow pieces on the top layer, we're just focused on the two edge pieces that are connected to the yellow center piece. And when you have this yellow pattern, make sure that you rotate the top layer to where the hook is facing in the left and the top direction, and then go ahead and do this move. Front, up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, and then front counterclockwise. The second scenario is gonna be the yellow bar. The bar consists of two yellow edge pieces that are opposite from each other, and they are both connected to the yellow centerpiece, making a line of three yellow pieces. When you have this yellow pattern, make sure that you rotate the top layer to where the bar is facing the left and the right directions, and then go ahead and do this move. Front, right, up, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and then front counterclockwise. This third scenario is the lonely yellow center piece. Even though there may be other yellow pieces in this layer, it's still considered lonely because it's not directly connected with two other edge pieces. So when you have this yellow pattern, it doesn't matter how the top layer is oriented, just go ahead and either do the hook move or the bar move. 
I'm going to go ahead and just do the bar move. And that move is front, right, up, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and then front counterclockwise. Now, as you see, we have the hook. So let's go ahead and put the hook in the top left direction and the top direction, and then go ahead and do the hook move, which is front, up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, and then front counterclockwise. If you ended up doing the hook move for the yellow centerpiece, uh, it'll look like this. It'll turn into the bar. And then you'll just do the bar move. And the bar move is front, right, up, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and then front counterclockwise. Here in the fourth scenario, you may have a yellow shape that looks like two squares that are just kind of overlapping each other. And then for this tutorial, it doesn't matter how the top layer is oriented, just go ahead and do this name specific move called the right soon. And the move for this is right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up two times, and then right counterclockwise. Here in the fifth scenario, you may have a yellow shape that looks somewhat like a billboard or just a sign. You'll want to orient the top layer to where the two non-yellow corner pieces are in the front left and the front right positions, and then go ahead and do the right soon move again. And that move is right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up two times, and then right counterclockwise. Here in the sixth scenario, you may have a yellow shape that looks like a cross. And you're gonna wanna orient the top layer to where there's a yellow piece facing left in the front corner and then do the right soon move again. So here's a yellow piece in the front corner, but it's not facing left. So let's just orient the top layer and then one more time so that this piece is facing left and then go ahead and do the right soon move again, which is right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up two times, and then right counterclockwise. Here in the seventh and the eighth scenarios, you may have a yellow pattern that looks like a fish. And so here's the head of the fish, here's the tail, so it's kind of swimming in the top right direction right now. And if you get this pattern, you wanna orient the top layer to where the head of the fish is in the bottom left corner like this. So now it's gonna be swimming in the bottom left with the tail right here and the head right here. Now, after you get the correct orientation of the top layer, you now wanna see if the yellow piece is facing us or if it's facing to the right. Uh, right here, it's facing towards us. And when we have it like this, we just do the right soon move once again, which is right, up, right counterclockwise, up, right, up two times, and right counterclockwise. So after I did that last move, I actually ended up solving the cube. This doesn't happen that often. If it does, that's awesome. But uh, obviously that's not what I wanted for this tutorial. So let's just pretend it didn't happen and let's move on. As I mentioned just a little bit ago, when you have this fish pattern and the yellow is facing us, you just have to do the right soon move one time to uh, complete the top layer. Uh, sometimes you might have it where the yellow is facing to the right and when the yellow is facing to the right, you could either do the right soon move one time to get the fish again, but after you reorient it to where it's swimming in the bottom left, you'll have this yellow piece. Instead of facing right, it's gonna be facing us. And then you could just do the right soon move again. So back to the fish pattern with the yellow facing to the right. Instead of doing the right soon move twice, what we could do is just a little bit more of an advanced move called the left soon. So not the right soon, but it's called the left soon. And here's an example of doing the left soon. We just have to do it one time to complete the top layer. You take the cube on its Y axis and go counterclockwise, just like that. And then do left counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, left, up counterclockwise, 
left counterclockwise, up two times, and then left. While solving this yellow layer in step four, you may have already solved the cube like what happened to me. And if so, that's awesome. But for everyone else, we may have three different scenarios. The first and second scenarios are where you may have three of the same color pieces on the top row. So if this orange piece was a green piece, we would have three green pieces up here and you would just rotate it to the green side so that they match up. All right. So the other scenario is like what I have here where we have two of the same color corner pieces. So in my case, I have two blue corner pieces. So let's just go ahead and rotate it to the blue side so they match up. And after you match the corners, what we need to do is keep the completed side facing back and then do this move. Right counterclockwise, front, right counterclockwise, back two times, right, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back two times, and then right two times. In this third scenario, you will have it where none of the corner pieces will have the same color as these center pieces. So here we have the green and blue. We don't have two blues or two greens. We don't have two reds or two oranges. That means that these corner pieces do not match up with the center piece. And so when we have this, it doesn't matter how the top layer is oriented, we just have to do the same move two times. And the move again is right counterclockwise, front, right counterclockwise, back two times, right, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back two times, and then right two times. After you do that, the first time you will have it where you have the two of the same color corner pieces, just not on this side. We don't have it on this side. Don't have it on this side, but we have it on this side. So we have two oranges. So just like before, let's go ahead and match it up to the orange side. All right, we have the two corner pieces matched up with the orange center on this side. So have it facing back and then go ahead and do that same move again, which is right counterclockwise, front, right counterclockwise, back two times, right, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back two times, and then right two times. Just like in the last step, let's go ahead and match up the corners with their side. So here we have the two blues, match it up with the blue side. And once we have that, all the other sides should be matched up with their corners, as you can see right there. So we just have four edge pieces to fix. And there's gonna be four different scenarios. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this first one that I have right here. And here in this first scenario, what we have are these four edge pieces. They just have to be swapped opposite from each other. And we know that they have to be opposite because green is opposite of blue, and then orange is opposite of red. So they just have to be swapped. So here it doesn't matter how the cube is oriented, just go ahead and do this move. Take this middle layer and go two times, up, middle layer two times, up two times, middle layer two times, up, and then the middle layer two times. Here in this second scenario, what we need to do is swap the four remaining edges that are adjacent from one another. So instead of being opposite, they're actually next to each other. So this red piece needs to go here and this blue piece needs to go here. Just like on this side, we have orange needs to go here and then green needs to go here. So how we do this is just orient the cube to where the adjacent colors are on the right side. So these two are not adjacent to each other. So let's make it to where these two are adjacent to each other on the right side and then do this move. Take this middle layer and go two times, up, take this middle layer, go two times again, up, take this middle layer and go counterclockwise once, 
up two times, middle layer two times, up two times, middle layer again, counterclockwise, and then up two times. Here in the third scenario, you'll have a full side that's completed just like this with three other edge pieces that need to be swapped in a clockwise rotation. So you can see this green piece needs to go here and this red piece needs to go here. So it's in a clockwise rotation. So when you have this, make sure that the completed side is facing back or away from us and then do this move, which is right two times, up, right, up, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up, and then right counterclockwise. And lastly, here in scenario four, what we're gonna have is a full side completed, just like the last side, and three other edge pieces that need to be swapped, but this time it's gonna be in a counterclockwise rotation. So as you can see here, the green needs to go over here, and this orange piece needs to go over here. All right, so again, have this full side completed, uh, facing back, and then go ahead and do this move, which is right, up counterclockwise, right, up, right, up, right, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and then right two times. All right, there you go. Congratulations on solving the three by three Rubik's Cube. I really hope this beginner tutorial helped you out. And if it did, please like this video. Also, if you wanna support me, you can go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Noah Richardson. Again, I'll have the link in the video description. All right, guys, well, thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.